Hello and welcome to Movie A Day with me, Kenzo Lee, for KuchikaTour.com. We're currently on our way back from Palm Desert to Los Angeles. And I stopped here because I think it's really cool. There are literally thousands of windmills behind me. Like thousands of windmills. Who makes thousands of windmills? Unfortunately, there's no wind right now, so it doesn't look as cool as I thought it was gonna look, but maybe it looks a little cooler on camera. I don't know. I'll see when I get back with the footage. Anyway, today's movie. Oh, day four. Finally, we're with the good stuff. Star Wars, episode four, A New Hope. I saw this movie when I was in the theaters. No, I didn't see it when I was in the theaters. I saw it in the theaters when I was really young and just blew my mind. This movie is revolutionary in so many different ways. Uh, Star Wars Episode Four, which actually is the first one to be made, uh, stars, is directed by, of course, by George Lucas and stars, um, let's see, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, we love you, Indiana Jones, uh, obviously James Earl Jones, the boy from Darth Vader, Kenny Baker, Anthony, and Anthony Daniels, and of course, the great Alan Guinness as Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you haven't seen Star Wars yet, I really don't need to fill you in on the details of it or the summaries of it. It is a galactic epic of sorts. Episode four of a six episode set. And um, it's, it's, it, is, it is what it is. It's the, it's the most revolutionary film of the 20th century in terms of, well, not the 20th century. Uh, that's a little too far. Most revolutionary film in terms of blockbusters that is out there. Um, Star Wars episode four is the tale of a young man named Luke Skywalker who basically goes off to save the princess, a rebellion, and on the way meets a smuggler, some robots, and a big hairy thing called a Wookiee. That's in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't really need to review Star Wars, do I guys? I mean, honestly, I mean, it's, it's, it's episode four. It's a new hope. It's the standard for everybody. Um, some little tidbits of knowledge. <laughs> Uh, in Tunisia, when they were shooting a lot of the Tatooine scenes, pretty much, everyone started getting heat stroke. So there's a lot of instances where you're seeing people and they're sweating and they're really like burning hot and bad. Um, the budget was so low in certain parts that they had to cut corners. So they did make another movie, where George Lucas called it the special edition of Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, which was again retooled again for the re-release again. I think it's 2002 for the ultimate edition or something like that. So there's actually three different versions of Star Wars. Actually, there's four or five different versions of Star Wars. Um, he has changed this one sequence, which I think a lot of people know about, which is where Han Solo, Harrison Ford's character, shoots a bad guy named Greedo for threatening to rat him out to Jabba the Hutt. Uh, in the original version, Han Solo shoots first. In the remade version, uh, Greedo shoots first, and then Han responds. And the third, uh, sorry, yeah. And then the third one, uh, Greedo shoots, Han moves his head, and then shoots back. It's in self-defense. Come on, Han Solo is a smuggler. He shoots people for no reason. Give him the bad guy aspect. That's just my personal opinion. So there's actually T-shirts that say Han shot first. Um, there is, after episode four, there was a Christmas special, the infamous Star Wars Christmas special which kind of made it seem as if Luke and Leia had a weird romantic relationship. Thank goodness that one never came out because that's just kind of dirty and gross. If you guys ever watch Robot Chicken, you definitely should find the Star Wars uh, special editions of Robot Chicken. You will laugh your butt off if you like Star Wars. Definitely one of the best, uh, definitely one of the best spoofs of Star Wars ever, along with, of course, the Family Guy ones, which is great. And if you ever see SNL, there's these really awesome auditions for Star Wars the movie with um, other well-known actors at the time, including, uh, well, it's Kevin Spacey and Daryl Hammond playing the characters. And, and uh, who was the other one? I forget who the other one was. Anyways, but it's uh, Barbara Streisand, uh, what's his name? Dreyfus, uh, 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 Richard Dreyfus and uh, Walter Matthau going out for a Obi-Wan Kenobi. It is funny. You'll laugh your head off, trust me. So, um, it's starting to rain here, so I guess I probably should turn up the camera before I get some rain on my, on my camera, my nice pretty camera. So for Movie A Day, this is Kenzo Lee. You can check out our videos on YouTube at the Coochie TV channel, that's C-O-O-C-I TV channel, or on www.coochiecouture.com, and I will see you guys tomorrow.